Hey guys, Jessica here. So today we're going to talk about the initial thoughts on the baby Buddha wearable. So keep in mind, this was delivered to my house last night. It is now about lunchtime the day after we got it. So we are talking early, early initial thoughts. And we can tell you a lot about a pump within just a few hours of having it because we can tell you how it, how easy it was to clean it according to the directions, how easy it is to assemble. We can tell you how the sizes, the noise, the shape, if there is anything about the design that gives us concern. But we can tell you the settings because immediately this was put on a suction gauge as soon as the parts were done being sterilized according to the manufacturer's directions. So sometimes we can test a new pump and we will tell you immediately out of the gate, we see a ton of promise with this design. We are really excited to see if it's gonna perform as well as it looks like. Sometimes we can tell you, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. This is a flop. I'm surprised somebody invested in this to bring it to market. Most of the time though, pumps come up in this middle area where we're like, well, it's got, it's got some good things. It's got some things we don't love. We're just gonna have to see how this plays out. And that's where the Baby Buddha wearable is shaping up. It's in that gray area. It has some issues. It has a lot of potential. But we're going to have to see how this goes for lots and lots of moms because this is a brand that is known for a very specific type of pump. The Baby Buddha 2.0 is their current flagship portable pump. It is their latest model. It is their best performing model. Really and truly, it has been the best performer. There's a couple of people who like the original Baby Buddha that was a little bit stronger, a little too strong for most people. Um, it had some limitations in the programming. The Baby Buddha 2.0 overall has been a wilder success, and it is one of our top portable motors. So this is, I'm not seeing that they are saying that it is directly going to be a, a wireless 2.0, which I, I do think we need to keep in mind. And I think that's something for everyone to keep in mind is that they're not necessarily claiming that. It's inspired by the 2.0 is the wording that I'm seeing. Inspired is an interesting word there because I would say that this is not going to perform like a 2.0, unfortunately, which is really kind of sad because we have had a lot of moms, like hundreds of moms tell us, I wish there was a, a wearable that performed like the Baby Buddha. And the Baby Buddha 2.0 is known for having a long, smooth pull with very short breaks in between the pull and a sustained peak. And that gives it this very smooth feeling and it's going to create this very smooth pumping experience. Now that could be too strong for some people. Some people prefer a little bit shorter pull, but that's what we've got with this. We have a shorter pull. All in all, this is nowhere near as strong as the Baby Buddha either. It was between 25 to 50% weaker on most things. I'm not gonna comment on that necessarily other than I am gonna release the data. I don't typically release the graphs. In this case, I am gonna actually link those in the blog on the initial review because I think you should see for yourself that the waveform is completely different. The Baby Buddha 2.0 is a very smooth pull. This is a very choppy on the faster cycle speeds that's not so much noticeable because the break in between the pulls is very short. On the higher settings, which is what Baby Buddha 2.0 is known for is that longer extended pull. It is very, very noticeable because the pull is about a quarter of the length and the break is about three times as long in between pulls. That's not gonna be great. In terms of the design, this is this is not an S32. Um, so that is important to know. We do have a lot of S32s out there on market. This is close, but not quite. The diaphragm is a little bit more narrow. The diaphragm, I actually have some concerns with because the diaphragm, like pop this motor off. Diaphragm has no substantial lip which if you use the Motif Aura Glow, the Lanceno Duo Discrete, the Eufy pumps, any of those commonly known S32 bodies, you know that the diaphragm has this very established lip, which helps to deceit and helps to protect your motor from any milk overflow. This does not really have that. And that means that in order to assemble it, you have to do this really weird step, which I mean, I think everyone will learn to do it, but it is, I'll say, honestly, it's a little obnoxious. So what you have to do is you have to take this and you have to seat it in here. But of course, this lip is super flexible. So if you don't get it quite right, what we saw on the graphs is that at times it actually dropped suction because the diaphragm was moving like it shouldn't have been. So you have to install that on the motor and then press it into place. Otherwise, 
your diaphragm is going to get pushed down into that little cavity. If your diaphragm gets pushed in this little cavity, best case scenario, you lose suction. Worst case scenario, you end up with milk in your motor. And milk in the motor is not going to be covered by the warranty. So that is a concern. This diaphragm is also really thin. I know I do like that they made the parts match the pump because there are so many parts out on the market now for so many pumps that are fairly similar because this particular, you know, rough body shape is proving to be very successful for a wide number of women. We're going to see a lot of companies focusing on this type of design. That is okay. They're focusing on what's working and they're playing with programming and tweaking other factors because we're getting closer and closer to a truly effective wearable. But this diaphragm, they sh shouldn't have used this diaphragm. This was a mistake. That I, I'll just go ahead and I will say that and I will own it. This was a mistake. They needed a wider diaphragm. They needed a diaphragm that was going to be more durable and they needed the strongest lip on the market in order to make it behave as close to the 2.0 as possible. That's not what they went with. They went with this. The only good thing I can say on that is that it is colored, which means it's going to be very easy to match this to the parts. I do like the purple they chose. I don't really know why they chose purple because it doesn't match their brand colors, but I purple obviously be my favorite color. So I really like that. Uh, it did come with a case and inserts. And the case is, it's just a generic, it's very similar to the Mom Cozy cases, but this one is purple and I like purple. So I'm going to give that a point in their favor. It did come with a lot of sizing inserts. So I'm going to pull one of these out because we need to talk about these sizing inserts, guys. So the sizing inserts are short. They're actually very short. They're slightly shorter than the cheapy, like the Lactation Hub, the clear style that we get off of Amazon all the time. They're slightly shorter than that. They are a soft silicone. It's like a short version of the May Mom shorts. But the May Mom shorts were already short enough. We did not need a shorter version. So I'm kind of curious why they did that. Now, what really stood out to me is that not all of them had the size. So I did get 13, 15, 17, 19, 21 inserts, which is awesome. But not all of them have the size. Some of them have the size up here on the rim. Not all of them do. Some of them just had a number down here. It's completely unfinished. I'm not really sure why they don't all have numbers on. That's that's kind of a weird thing to have encountered. All in all, the texture, unless you have elastic nipples, they're probably gonna be okay enough. I do like the texture, but they, they miss the length. The reason for the length is if you look in the back here, you can actually see this white wall where that comes down. That is in the tunnel. Your nipple could actually make direct contact with that. What it meant is that when I pulled, I actually pulled a Tommy Tippy insert because Baby Buddha is owned by Mayborn and Mayborn owns Tommy Tippy. So they actually had access to this full length insert as a Mayborn company that Tommy Tippy was using. And when I put this in here to see what happens, because these were actually some of the longest, they're just ever so slightly longer than a Mayon long. So kind of the longest on the market. When you put this in here, one of two things that happens. Either you put a long insert in here and it doesn't quite seal, or if you do get a good enough air seal, you actually pull the flange apart and you lose suction because it pulls this out. So this is not what I would consider to be a long tunnel pump. It's long enough to be functional. It fit with the Willow inserts. It fit with the legendary inserts. So I'm not gonna knock them for that, but with what you get in the case, this is actually one of our shorter inserts on the market. It's ever so slightly longer than the average short mom cozy insert but that's not the standard for which we should be operating at. So that is a little disappointing because Baby Buddha should have had a lot of feedback through customer service that what moms needed were longer tunnels, longer inserts. They had enough complaints about the short inserts that their traditional pump comes with that 24, 21 cushion. They should have been aware of that and they probably should have chosen a design that did not have that flaw. But because of that wall back there, it is going to reduce the tunnel length. So when we go to measure it, it is... It's only about two and a half to three centimeters, depending on where in this curve you consider it to be. I would consider it to be towards the interior of the curve is where the tunnel length ends because that's where inserts are going to stop. So not the longest tunnel. Noise-wise, it's not bad. We do get four modes on this one, which is really cool. I'm hoping that they're going to get good feedback on what's called a double drop mode. So... On the traditional Baby Buddha 2.0, you have classic stimulation, you have soft stimulation, which is the stimulation without the long pull. Classic stimulation has that 10 short pulse and one long pulse that Baby Buddha is known for. So you have that 
classic stimulation, you have the soft stimulation, which is that stimulation minus the long pull. And then you have expression. Now on expression, one of the challenges with Baby Buddha 2.0 is that their expression mode has been slower than the average pump which is a challenge for some moms. It's helped to make the baby Buddha, it's a great pump, but it came with a longer adjustment period than what a lot of people liked. It was actually one of the most common complaints I got when I was doing lactation support for the baby Buddha is the need to adjust to it. Double drop is faster, but ever so slightly lighter in terms of suction. It is much faster though. And what I think we're gonna find is that that is gonna confirm for them that what they need to do is they need to have a faster expression mode option on the baby Buddha 2.0. This isn't a case where I think they should alter the expression mode on the 2.0. They need to add an additional mode and it have the same four modes that we got with the wearable because that idea actually was pretty good. I think that's going to be a, a good, good fit for this. Noise wise, it's not super loud, but it's also not super quiet. In terms of vibration, this is where I am not going to say yes or no for sure until we've gotten more real world data because when I put it on my own personal body, I think it has vibration. I can feel the vibration in the motor. I think there could be more insulation in here. There probably should be if you're looking for a vibration-free pump like the Baby Buddha 2.0, which is, again, what their brand is known for. This has vibration, I think, because there's not a ton of insulation in here, which is why it has the noise level it does and why it does vibrate. Now, I did not love that vibration because the vibration starts with the pull, and as soon as the pull stops, the vibration stops because the motor is not moving the way it had been. I didn't love that, but I will also say at seven months pregnant, I am more sensitive than the average mom. So I'm going to reserve judgment on that. We're going to need to get some real world feedback on whether moms find that this is vibrating, find that it's problematic because it may just be something that you quickly get used to and don't notice. We do see that with a lot of wearables. So here's what I can tell you at this point. For this price point, when it's listed at 290, I'm a little concerned that what you're getting is not there's no smart features to this. It's not a super long tunnel. It is inspired by the 2.0, but it is not a wireless 2.0 in terms of performance. It's not going to be the same. I am going to go ahead and release your cycle speed and your suction data in the blog. So if you want to see that, click down below. I don't expect that this is going to be the best wearable. I think we're going to have to see how this magnetic charger plays out. We have the UV pump, which has the magnetic charger. There is the Sysporamom and the Comfrey, Comfrey pump that also have the magnetic charging. Without a magnetic charging case, it's hard to justify the magnetic chargers because, let me pull one out and show you. Let me just grab this real quick. I did not have the one I was testing earlier, so we're just gonna open this one new. But what happens is, you put your charger on here and that's awesome. You have to get it in the right direction if it's pushing back, but you can't really charge it in a bag because look how easy that is to pull off. So without a charging case, I struggle to see the effectiveness of magnetic charging. Now, it, again, we're gonna have to wait for some real world feedback because in most of these other cases, we had an option. The Spore Mom and the Comfrey Pump have not taken off. The Eufy has taken off. Most people have adopted the charging case where the magnetic charging is a awesome feature. Um, Moncosi Air One is the one that has a mag magnetic charger. And again, it's charged with a charging case, which this is not charged with a charging case. This is just a holding pump. Um, other thing to mention, they did include an extra set of duckbills and an extra set of diaphragms, which is awesome. I do like that. I think that's really good. Supposedly, they're going to have the replacement parts out in early October, and then we'll know how much that's going to cost. I am a little concerned about that to make sure that, you know, once we factor in shipping, is this going to be cost effective to run? Because you are purchasing a more expensive pump with less luxury features. So it's just going to be a matter of how this is going to play out in the real world. Like I said, it, this is not an out-of-the-gate flop. But it's also not one where I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, I cannot wait to see how this is going to play out in the real world. I think we're going to find that huge success. I don't, I don't know. It's definitely, I think they could have done a better job. I think they could have picked a better, slightly better design. I think that diaphragm is a joke. I don't really understand why they would release that on us because it, it appears to be a flaw. Why would we accept a pump at that price point with a flaw? But we'll see.
we'll see how this plays out. I'm going to link the blog down below. I've got all the charts. I'm going to release the graphs so you can see for yourself that it is just not, it's not quite a 2.0. If what you're looking for is a shorter pull version of the 2.0 with less suction, this could be something that you really like. It does hold, it's marked up to five ounces. I would say it could hold up to six. Any more than that, and you're going to risk flooding. Once you get your milk to the level of this diaphragm, if it then pulls out of place, that's milk straight to the motor. Milk and motors do not mix. I have seen where, you know, they were talking about it can hold up to eight. And I would have to question any company who told you to fill your, your hub, your egg, up to that point. Because also, if the milk comes out of the top, it's going to hit your charger. Guess what happens if you put water on the charger? It stops working. That's not going to be covered by the warranty in most cases. Milk damage is not covered by the warranty for most pumps. So be very careful with that. I would stop at no more than six. I could see pushing it to six because the five line is down here and that seems artificially low. I think six, six is probably fine. Eight is definitely pushing it. I think you're going to risk damaging your equipment. And at $290, you don't want to damage your equipment. This is not a disposable cheapie. This is priced like a luxury pump. It just doesn't have a lot of luxury features. So hopefully it makes up for that in real world performance, but we'll see. I do promise you guys, I will release another review once we have had more data. Because this is in that gray area, it's probably going to be another month or two before I release an updated review, unless I start getting more feedback. Because in order to get that real world feedback, I also have to check if somebody's telling me a negative review, I've got to check franchising, I've got to check profit, I've got to check does it even make sense for their pumping situation. And make sure it's not just a case of if you were using the Baby Buddha 2.0 and you try and switch to this and you haven't been using anything but the 2.0, I would expect you to have a two to four week adjustment period because the pull is going to be a lot shorter the vibration that I'm sensing may help speed that up, but we won't know yet. We don't know how that's going to actually perform. Not all vibration is created equal. So hopefully that helps. I will link the blog down below. If you have any questions, you want us to check specific things in testing, if you want to give us feedback, please comment down below because I am I'm hoping we get positive real world feedback because what we don't need is another wearable that delivers a lackluster performance. We don't need that. We don't deserve that. So hopefully this helps. Sorry for the initial review. It is a longer one, but I think we're going to have a lot of questions about this because Baby Buddha does have a cult-like following. And we are going to be carefully tracking this and seeing how it performs before we release our updated review. So hopefully that helps and happy pumping.